Wow. Why do you think it's not working? I'm pushing a lot of air, but the balloon is just not blowing up. So, where is all this air going? You see these holes? Air is getting out of these holes rather than getting inside the balloon. All my efforts are going waste. <laughs> but something similar happens with water pipelines. Municipal corporations are providing us with water, but through such leaks, water is getting lost and not reaching us. We all have seen many pictures of the water gushing out of pipes and news or leaky pipelines flooding the roads. Through such leaks, millions of litres of usable fresh water gets wasted. So how do you stop it? Simply plug the holes. Looks simple, right? But it may not always be so simple. At times, it gets difficult to find the source of leakage because all the piping is underground. How do you think we will determine where the leaks are without digging up the entire city? However, this is not the only way water is getting wasted. We use water as if we have an unlimited supply of it. Like keeping the tap open while brushing, shaving or washing utensils and ignoring leaking taps. We can prevent all this water from getting wasted at an individual level and make a huge difference. For example, look at that tap. Dripping water drop by drop. It might seem less now, but if you let that water drip like this for a whole year, can you guess how much water is wasted? That's 20,000 litres and that's enough to fill a small swimming pool. But where do you think the biggest impact can be made? We saw that about 70% of the total water consumed is in agriculture. Hence, even a small improvement in agricultural practices can lead to a great impact. For example, in current system of irrigation, we just flood the farms with water. Instead, if we replace it with drip irrigation system where water is delivered directly to the base of a plant, then Water consumption by agriculture will reduce by 50 to 60 percent. Now, this can make a huge impact on the amount of water we need because agriculture is the largest consumer of water. Uh, what else can we do? What else can we do? What else? What else? Only if water fell from the sky, life would have been so much easier. Oh, wait, it does. Don't we all enjoy playing in the rain? Fresh, pure water just falling from the sky. Some of this water seeps into the soil and most of it just makes its way back to the ocean. But is there a way we can save this water for later? Our ancestors dug up lakes and beautiful step wells known as bowries where this water can be collected and used later on. In some extremely dry places, homes also have huge underground tanks. Water falling on the roof during rains can collect in these tanks and then use later on. What can be done in cities where we don't have so much space? We can use rainwater to recharge the water table, but rainwater that collects on the roof can be directed underground which will recharge our groundwater. All these systems are known as rainwater harvesting systems. Such rainwater harvesting practices have transformed numerous dry villages in Rajasthan and Gujarat to places with abundant water and greenery. Find out if your house or city has a rainwater harvesting system. Now, coming to the most important question, what can you do to save water right now? Small things can make a difference like keep tap closed while brushing. Tell your elders if you see a leak anywhere. It's now time for you to teach your parents about preventing wastage of water. And why should you put in so much effort? No life is possible without water. Plants, animals and humans all depend on water. Don't water a plant for a few days and see what happens. Same thing will happen to all life on earth without water. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.